Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we're going to do this. Uh, I've had so many requests to do these clouds again, so we're going to have more fun with clouds today. Uh, very simple. Uh, I'm going to make a nice uh, sky here. A little, uh, little yellow, uh, a really yellow, which they have stopped making, so you could use uh, Windsor yellow. A little rose, a nice wash of rose down, and then a wash of cobalt blue might want to go into that a couple of times and then take a towel very lightly press out the shape of your clouds okay uh, just you don't have to press too hard here because it's still wet you know the cloud it's all very wet so you just press it out in the shape that you want and then curl the towel around your thumb and press harder and you'll get it a cleaner you know cleaner uh, imprint and really shape that edge of the clouds that you want on the top edge. Go right over the whole thing, pressing a little harder. The pressure that you put on that towel really will uh, decide what your cloud's going to look like. You know, So the more you press, the whiter it's going to get. And then down below here, I'm just going in very lightly, you can see, and just touching that bottom, I'll get that edge. And now I'm just dropping in. This is ultramarine mixed with phthalo blue. Okay, it's, it's a pretty clear blue. Remember, ultramarine has red in it. Phthalo blue has a little yellow in it. So you get red, yellow, and blue together, which is a very clean, beautiful sky blue. All right, so you're dropping it into the bottom shadow part of your clouds. The key here is to make sure that you get rid of all your hard edges. No hard edges. Go back in, you can see here I'm going, I dropped some rows in there too. And I'm dropping, uh, going in with a very light brush of color, hitting the shadow sides of the clouds, spreading it around into the bottom part of those clouds. Rinse out your brush, go back in with some very clean, you can see very clean. Get rid of those edges. Get rid of all the hard edges. Spread that color all the way around. Beautiful clouds. And then a little more blue on the bottom until you get, that's the whole cloud. And now you can go in with the towel again and pick out some other clouds on the bottom. You know, within that big shape, you have other clouds moving up and down Trying to get rid of that hard edge. Keep tapping. Get rid of all those, all those hard edges. And now you're shaping another cloud within the cloud. Okay. Look at mirrors here. You know you're not painting portraits of any uh, clouds. You're just making up your own beautiful clouds. Keep those, get rid of those hard edges. Get back in. Very lightly touching those hard edges, getting them nice and soft. Okay. All right, so there's our clouds. Now I'm gonna put in a row of trees here just to sort of give you a uh, scale on what that looks like. So I'm just, this is a very beautiful green. It's ultramarine with quinacridone gold. It's a beautiful, dark, rich green. It's great for, you know, groups of trees like this, or, or even, you know, when you're doing leaves and a still life or something. Very beautiful. All right, so I'm just covering this all up uh, into a, a big mass of green trees. Okay. And now uh, I'm gonna go back with the side of my brush. The sky is pretty dry now. And using the side of my brush, I'm gonna push the edges of those top trees up into the clouds and get a nice, nice rough edge suggestion of leaves and branches. And it's a very pretty dry brush there. But just pushing that green, you know. You can see what a beautiful color that is. All right, you can see I pushed the gold a little more over there. All right? Just, this is just a simple demo for you. 
I hope you enjoyed this. You know, you can go richer and darker. Remember now, I'm going in with the towel on the trees to give that a little texture, okay? So there's the finished painting, just a little, little sketch, okay? So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much.